Hi, Jay says live. You are now live. We are We're now. live. People are joining us. Hi, yes. Cindy. Hi, Tasha. Hi, Oily Mom. Who else? Kristen Simmons. Hi, she joined. Oh, look. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. Tell my Texans. There's Pa. JT Lozano joined. That's Pa. Hi, Pa. Hi, Pa. Hi, Hi Katie. Pa. Ah. Hi, Tyler and Casey. I think that's you. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Brooke Hi, Saylor. Mommy. Yeah, see, a lot of people joined. Look, JT Lozano's pa. He said, Hi, girls. Hi, pa. <laughs> Hey, Hi, pa. you were excited for Brit and Trina, but instead we have Sophia, Isabella, and Nina. That's what my grandkids call me, Nina. Right, girls? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yes, those are my friends that are joining. People that like to watch my Periscope, you know why? Why? Because they can learn all kinds of really great things. No Frosty today yet, but we're gonna go to Frosty Llama tomorrow, I think. Okay, that'll be fun. I know we're gonna have so we're on vacation. Tomorrow. We went to Chocolate World today. Yeah, we went to Chocolate World. Today. Everybody bought candy and chocolate, all kinds of good stuff. And after Chelsea's wedding, we're gonna go to Hershey Park. That's right, we're gonna go see a wedding. Okay, we're Tiffany Miller just joined. She tomorrow. used to live here in Pennsylvania. Hi, Tiffany. Okay, so y'all, let me introduce myself. I am Trina Titus Lozano, and I am Sophia Saylor, and. I am in a <laughs> They said hi, girls. Sade even said hi. Sade said T is for Trina. Oh, T is for Trina. Except for what do you call me? Nina. 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 And right. is for Nina. N is for Nina. T is for Trina. Okay, y'all. I am Trina Titus Lozano, like I said. And if you are interested in watching some of my previous Periscopes, yeah, Trina Titus. That's what my name used to be. Yeah, Trina Titus, now Trina Titus Lozano. Mm-hmm. So, if you guys are interested in watching past Periscope episodes, you can go to my website, trinatituslozano.com, and watch um, the, the past episodes of the ABCs of Parenting. So, we're on a parenting series called The ABCs, The Absolute you, Basic Criteria for Raising Really Awesome Kids, but you're my grandkids, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes, I have four kids, and they're all grown up, and three are married, so I have nine grandkids. And you're my number one, you're not my number two, right? Yeah. Yeah. And okay, we... so, are y'all going to help me? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I am an ordained Christian minister, as well as a counselor, and all of the parenting that advice that I give is based on scripture and biblical principles. So the girls are going to help me tonight. We are going night-night in just a little bit, right after we periscope. But they're helping me tonight, and they are going to read some scriptures. Mimi. So, there's Mimi. Debbie Hi, Alice, Mimi. they read that. Oh. So, they're going to read some scriptures, and Sophia's going to start. Go ahead, script Sophia. You can start. Do not steal. Do not lie. Do not deceive in one other. DC. Le 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 Leviticus. 1911. Exactly. Do not steal. Do not lie. Do not deceive one another. Deceiving is another way, fancy way of saying lying. Deceiving Hi, means mommy. sometimes if you if you tell, you don't Hi, exactly mommy. tell a lie, but you don't tell the whole story. That's called deceiving. <laughs> right, you guys? That's what deceiving means. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do try to, you don't exactly lie, but you're not telling the whole truth. Nina. Yeah, that means that you're deceiving, but the Bible says, do not steal, do not lie, do not deceive one another. Leviticus 19.11, right? Good job. Okay, Isabella's turn. What's another scripture, Bella Kate? Colossians, Colossians 3 9. Do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self. Oh, yeah. Got, Hold on I, one sec. I think I have another one. Oh, I got to take care of some people, yeah. Okay, we got another scripture. Go ahead. Your turn. Mm. Ephesians 4.29. Do not let any unwholesome talk mm, come out of your mouth, 
but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs that it is it may be benefit um, those who listen to those who listen awesome that's a great scripture bella you can read your last scripture okay proverbs 12 12 22 the lord did it detest detest lying lips but he delights in men who are truthful so girls t is for what Truth. truth. T is for truth. Right. Yeah, and Titus. <laughs> and Trina and Titus. T is for truth. Okay, so let me put this right down here so we can all talk about the truth. So back up a little bit so they can see all of us. Okay? So let's talk about the truth. Have you ever told a lie? I don't know, but sometimes if we don't tell the whole truth, that's called a lie, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do we need to be afraid of the truth? No. No, no. You see, parents, what happens sometimes is people and kids will want to tell a lie because they're afraid of the truth. I'll give you an example, okay? What if you pooped in your pants? So if you poop in your pants and moms and dads, <laughs> if you smell poop, <laughs> don't say, did you poop in your pants? Because the kid's probably going to want to say, no, I didn't poop on my pants. Even though everyone can smell it. Would that be the truth? And it would be a lie, right? But why are you afraid of telling the truth? You don't have to be afraid of the truth, right? So, parents, here's what you want to do. Is you don't want to set up your kids to lie. When you know the truth and you know what's happening, parents, what you need to say instead of setting them up is say, it's right, they're afraid of the consequences. But here's what I want you to do, parents, is I want you to, to help them embrace the truth so that they do not have to fear the consequences. Because that's, that is what we can do, is we can say something, instead of saying, did you poop your pants, um, which would tempt them to not tell the truth, you can say, wow, um, you can say, mommy smells poop, so uh, we need to go to the bathroom because we've got something to talk about, okay? And then you're going to say, mm-hmm, and then we'll say, you know, you just need to tell mommy or you need to tell Nina when you pooped in your pants. I'll help you clean it up. You're not allowed to poop in your pants, and you know better than that because you're a big girl. But I'll help you clean it up so you don't have to worry about the truth. The truth is important. You just tell the truth to mommy or Nina all the time, and we will just deal with the truth, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just tell the truth. So you don't have to be afraid to tell the truth, do you? Always tell the truth. Even if you did something wrong, mm -hmm. even as Especially if you do something wrong, just be yeah. brave. We have to be brave to tell the truth. Okay, y'all? So, uh, exactly. That's okay with the trolls. They really don't bother me. I just keep on moving along because that's life, right? Life has poop. Life has trolls. It is what it is. But um, but what we want to do is we want to embrace the truth. So, parents and, and grandparents, what we have to do is tell our kids and our grandkids that it that's right. Ask, ask, don't worry about the questions, especially if you know the answer. If you've got teenagers, you might say, um, you know, were you drinking? When you can smell the alcohol, all you have to say is, you know what? You've been drinking. It wasn't right. And what we need to do is we need to deal with the truth. You know, it's not in your best interest to stay out late. It's not in your best interest to do that. So let's deal with the truth. Let's deal with what it is you're going through. So always face the truth. Encourage the truth. Deal with the truth. And move forward walking in truth. Because truth is always something to embrace. The good, the bad, and the ugly, it is what it is. We just embrace the truth. We don't have to be afraid of the truth. But it's not good to lie. Remember all those scriptures that you read? No. So with courage, it always takes courage. When it says, do not steal, do not lie, do not d decide Deceive. one another. Uh, Le Le Leviticus. Le Leviticus. 1911. Exactly. So, I'm um, glad this is your favorite so far. It's so easy, parents. Let me tell you the difference between guilt and shame, okay? It's it's okay and it's good and it's appropriate for us to, that's right, truth sets you free. That's what the Sinclair said. Remember Troy and Janae? They're watching. Mm -hmm. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, so the truth does set them us free, but if, if we could just teach our kids to not walk in shame, shame 
guilty as I feel bad because I did something wrong, you know, and that's, we all do things wrong sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. But we need to embrace the truth and be brave. And instead of thinking, I am bad, I'm a bad person. It's just that you did something bad. And with God and with Jesus, we always have a do over, right? Mm -hmm. So if you did something wrong, if you told something that wasn't the truth, what do you do? You have a do over and you fix it, right? So you correct it. So then you want to be brave and then tell the truth, right? Like, I pooped in my pants. I'm really sorry. Will you please help me clean it up? Right? That's a yeah. good example, huh? It's just an example. Okay, girls, scoot over just a little bit. Nina has some things to read, okay? Okay. Thank you. So, y'all, I'm going to read just a couple of practical tips of how to implement this um, into your parenting, okay? You tried to send a heart and said you got, um, oh, wow, that was weird. <laughs> huh, interesting. Well, I don't know what happened, but. Oh, well, who cares? Um, I'm not afraid of anything. So y'all just enjoy the rest of this Periscope. Keep sending the hearts, okay? Keep sending the hearts. Keep sending the love. And I'm just going to continue to speak into your life um, at noon and 9 Central Standard Time, even on vacation, because we're having a good time together, right? Because I'm on this parenting series, the ABCs, the Absolute Basic Criteria, to raise the next generation, some really great kids. So here's some tips for the letter T, okay? T is for truth. Number one, model truth, okay? Your kids are watching, your kids are listening, don't lie. Don't lie, don't even do a white lie. Don't say things like, tell them I'm not home when you are home. Um, don't say things like, well just tell them that we ran into traffic when you didn't really run into traffic. You know, whatever it is. Your kids are watching, so be truthful, be honest, because they, they can tell whenever you're not being truthful also. So model truth, number one. Number two, expect the truth. Explain that you're not afraid of the real story. You're not afraid um, for them to fess up, and you're okay with the truth. So um, tell them, tell them that you embrace the truth. Okay, good. Okay, love always. So a child who feels loved and who feels embraced and who feels safe, they won't be afraid to tell the truth. Okay. Uh, we don't do stand to big controversy in family. Oh well, yeah. Sometimes people think that's a lie. In our family, we talked about Santa a lot and about presents and all that, but we just made it a game, okay? So the kids knew that we were, you know, sort of fudging about that. Um, so it was a little bit different. God knows when a lie is happening. Just tell your kids to be honest up front. It's true. In fact, I uh, often excuses are partial truth, right? Um, I used to tell my kids, we chose to not do Santa or Easter Bunny. Yeah, a lot of people don't do that. You know, we did Santa. We did Easter Bunny. We did Tooth Fairy. But all along, the kids knew that it was just a game. You know, they always knew that. So it, they knew that it was just a game that we were all playing. You know, we never really made it like it was actually um, the truth. So that was sort of the way we did that. But those are some really great questions along this line. Um, but, yeah, be honest up front. In fact, I used to tell my kids, hey, look. You might as well tell me because there's no privacy in the, this house. I will find out. And, of course, I'm a praying mom, and I would say, God, show me if there's something that I need to know, okay? Um, and then, I'll, yeah, yeah, the kids know that it's the parents with, that are actually Santa or whatever. You know, it's fun. But anyway, so I would just tell the truth. You know, or tell the kids, um, God knows everything. I mean, I don't believe in privacy. God doesn't even believe in privacy because he even knows what you're thinking. So you might as well tell the truth because we already know anyway. Way. We're going to find out anyway, right, Sophia? Mm -hmm. So you might as well tell the truth, and so we can just move on and face the truth together. We're not afraid of the truth, the good, the bad, and the ugly. It is what it is. We do life together, and we move through it together, and it's going to be okay. Okay, so love always. Trust, truth, trust. So explain to your child, I trust you to tell the truth, and I trust that together we're going to get through it, and whatever it is. And I'm not afraid of the truth, and you don't have to be afraid of the truth either. Is reading diaries okay? Absolutely. In fact, as a parent... It is your responsibility to to be as nosy as possible, okay? Because it's not about that you need to respect your kids' privacy. In fact, it's your responsibility that they don't have privacy. It's your responsibility that you are really paying attention because you've got to supervise your kids. So that means reading their diaries, reading cell phones, reading emails, you know, whatever. Um, you know, because you've got to pay attention. You have to supervise. In fact, you're responsible before God to supervise really well. So absolutely. Um, and if they ask you about it, did you read my diary? You just tell 
tell them straight up front, absolutely I did. And it's because we don't have secrets in our family. I don't have secrets from my kids and my secrets don't have, my kids don't have secrets from me. So it sort of goes both ways. Um, so be true, meaning keep your promises. If you make your kids a promise saying, we're going to go to Chocolate World as soon as you get here. Well, listen, I don't care what it is. We made that promise. We're going to stick to it. We're going to make it happen. So if you make a promise, be sure that it's a promise that you can follow through with, okay? Because you want to be able to follow through with your promises. So you be true. Let, let your yes be yes. You be true. I wish the parents of the kids in our youth group would do this. Oh, man, isn't that the truth? Wouldn't it be nice if all parents supervised their kids the way they really should? Um, so be understanding. Kids make mistakes. We make mistakes. God gives grace. He gives us an opportunity for a do-over. It can be fixed. So even if there's a lie, it's okay. It can be fixed. It can be repented for. It can. The truth can be told, and we can turn it around. Okay, so there's always an opportunity for grace, for forgiveness, for what we call a do-over. So you have an opportunity to tell the kids the truth. They have an opportunity to tell you the truth, to do it over and to just start fresh, okay? So embrace that truth. That's right. We are saved by God's grace, and we need that grace all the time, and so do our kids. So we so we let them know that. Whoop, it's okay. It's okay. You okay? Okay. Um. So be understanding. So that's okay. Be understanding after the do-over. Um, teach them the power of truth and, and how it's pleasing to God. I'm almost done, girls. Um. Don't label, never call your child a liar, okay? Because we don't want, even even though they lied or they told something that wasn't exactly true, it doesn't mean you're a liar, okay? Um, it just means it just means it's something they did, but it's not who they are, okay? They're not a liar. They just told a lie. See the difference between it's something they did versus who they are. So you don't ever want to label them that way. Okay, so don't ever ask the question, are you telling me the truth? Especially if you know that they're not. You just say right up front, I know you're not telling the truth, but I can trust that you're going to embrace the truth. Okay, and uh, last but not least, make amends. After everything is all said and done, be sure that you give hugs and kisses and embrace the truth and say, we love you and it's okay and we're going to fix all this together. Okay, so make amends. All right, T is for what? Truth. T is for truth, and we embrace the truth, and we tell the truth all the time, right? And if we accidentally don't, what are we going to do? If we accidentally don't, we have a do-over. <laughs> okay, we are live from Hershey, Pennsylvania, and what we are going to do right now is we're going to go get a good night's sleep so we can have a lot of fun tomorrow, right? And yeah. eat more chocolate. <laughs> okay, y'all have a real sweet night, and we will see you tomorrow at noon and nine central standard time i'm trina titus lozano counselor parent coach having a good time on vacation with my grandkids good night y'all bye. bye say bye bye, bye. puppy ball yeah good night